Okay, welcome back to part two. We've now done a finger lance and here is the sample. Very carefully with the bowl pipette, you gently squeeze, apply it to the top of the drop and very gently suck the blood up. You don't want to relax that bowl completely because if you do it, it will suck the blood right the way up into the bulb and usually you're not getting a very large drop of blood from a finger lance. So that is their technique for adding that. And then when the blood is in the sample well, you apply two drops, one, two of buffer. And that is the test starting. Timer starts now for a 10 minute read time. So what we're going to do now is just, you'll see the, the pink dye starting to come up through the, the results well here. We are going to pause this video now and show you the results which are showing at the 10 minute read time. So we're just going to pop this into pause and we'll welcome you back at that 10 minute point showing you the results of this 2019 NCOV rapid test. Well, welcome back. This is now the 10 minute point and you can see here clearly the results of this test are negative with no T lines forming or lines against the IgM and IgE, sorry, IgM segments of the results window, but with a nice clear control line showing that procedural samples have been added correctly. So this sample is negative for both IgG and IgM antibodies. We're going to be doing some more videos in terms of what that means, in terms of how you interpret that clinically. It means only one thing, that the sample has not been exposed to COVID-19 in the preceding weeks and has not developed those antibodies. It does not mean that the infection has not been caught and is in the very early stages. And if the clinical presentation suggests that this still could be COVID-19, this test should be repeated in 24 to 72 hours to see and monitor the development of any antibodies that are occurring. So very interesting in terms of how you interpret these results and the indications in terms of what advice you give out on them. It's very specific at this time that these are just screening tests for the presence of the antibody and that should be the sole remit of the test being performed at this time. So that's the all test IgG IgM rapid finger prick procedure and results and we will be putting a link on the bottom of this video to the product that is available in the UK currently.